the second step for a scientific project and an engineering project is to start a journal. So you should have everything should go into your journal. Someone else should be able to come and read your journal and be, be able to recreate step by step everything that you did. So all the procedures, all the things that I'm going to talk about, the data collection, all that stuff should be reflected in your journal. It's best if it's handwritten, uh, they, but you can, it's okay to cut out some rough drafts of, of your uh, graphs and cut and paste them and put them into your book. But a good portion of it should be written. This is your working journal. When you're in the middle of working, you take your notes in it. Uh, it doesn't have to be highly detailed. It doesn't have to be neat. It just needs to have your information in there. So everything should go in here. Date each entry. Summarize what you did. Put all the details of all the data that you collected and everything in there. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, if you are two or more years behind in your writing ability compared to students of your same age, it is acceptable for most fairs for you to have someone be your secretary and to dictate what you want written into your journal. And that's perfectly fine for most fairs. So just it just needs to be your words in the journal.